Hello fellow model railroaders, steel mill folks. I'm doing a little something different today. Uh, I recently, within the past year or so, have been starting to collect collector cars. Now, I didn't know about it. I've been a model railroader for over 30 years and I just never really paid attention to these very, very cool collector cars. This one was especially hard to find. Uh, this is a Bev Bell made by McKean Models. Or Bev Bell and McKean Models. McKean Models made the car and Bev Bell painted it. But this is a very, very neat covered hopper. As you can see, that's a neat car. Um, I gotta, this is the only one I have with this, and it's in very good condition. A lot of these collector cars are kind of dated. I'll show you one that I found that is, I don't know if it's from 1959 or maybe a little later, but it is in pristine condition. I've never seen a freight car with zero rust, ever especially the older freight cars. But I wanted to start it off with this Bev Bell McKean models. It's one of my favorites. I haven't even ran it yet. I just built it. I put a uh, hundred ton trucks on there. Or no, I think, nope, these are the ones that came with the car. I just painted the trucks and wheels. I put KD number 158 whisker couplers on there and just put it back in the box. This is one McKean model right here. And I can have a couple more. This one is very, very special because the late Dean Freytag, that name should ring a bell if you're a steel mill modeler, he's one of the guys that really got my interest in modeling steel. And I try my best. This is a Southridge by McKean Models. And I'm not sure if Bev Bell painted this or... McKean models did it themselves. I think this car came out in the early 90s, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's a pretty hard car to come across, so if you come across a South Ridge car, snatch it up when you can because they're pretty rare. This is a beautiful car, and it's uh, it'll be on my railroad, paying tribute to the late Dean Freytag. Very very cool model. Also. Yeah, this is the one. I put the 100 ton trucks on and metal wheels, KD-158 whisker couplers. It's another great car. And like I said, I just started collecting collector cars. I, like many other people, collect the things I like. I don't like a lot of collector cars, like the state cars and stuff like that. It just doesn't interest me. Let me show you this really, really old one. This one is from I think about 1959 I can't remember how to pronounce this Manitou this is the model railroader magazine car silver anniversary 1934 to 1959 if you look on here there is zero rust like none. I don't know how old this car is, but when I got it in my collection, this is the way I received it. It it must have been in a climate controlled environment for many, many years because this thing is perfect. I didn't do anything to this car yet. You notice the trucks though. I don't care for the trucks, but hey, it's a very cool car. Also KD-158 whisker couplers on this one. I'm only going to share just a couple of cars. Every once in a while I'll post more of these collector cars as I get them. I have more to share, so if you're interested in collector cars or you've never seen these cars before, leave me a comment. Give me a lead on some other collector cars. I have a couple of the Carlston Publishing cars that I'll share in the next video. But uh, these are really neat cars. And uh, I'm so fortunate to have them in my collection. Very, very well done car right here. And that's it. I'm out. Bye.